So I think I'm finally taking the leap from PHP over to Ruby on Rails. And as I do this, I kind of want to document some of the stuff that I've been learning and just put that down on my blog and maybe I'll create a video screencast like this for a few things that I learn. But in this video, I just wanted to demonstrate how to create a simple to-do list app in less than like 10 lines in terminal and just maybe changing a configuration file. But it can be done in under 60 seconds and I kind of just wanted to uh, list out the steps on my blog and then create this webcast. And if you need to get started with Ruby on Rails, I'm sure you can just Google how to set up Ruby on Rails on your Mac or on your Windows machine. I'm going to go ahead and go into a terminal window here and I'll want to create a new Rails app called To Do. This is going to create all my application files for me. So it has just created my To Do List app. So I'm going to want to go ahead and go into that directory. And what I'll want to do is create my database. And as you start to learn Rails, you'll start to learn a lot of these uh, terminal commands. This next command is Rails G is short for generate. I'm going to create a scaffold task, which is going to create a model view and controller for my tasks. I'm going to want a string for the name of the task and a bool value for the status, if that task has been completed or not. And after I do that, I'll want to call this command rake db migrate, and that's going to add the task table to my database and the name field and the status field. So it does that all for me, which is really nice. Then I'll want to go ahead, go into TextMate, open up my application in TextMate. I'm going to want to change inside of my config and routes.rb file. I'm going to want to tell the application that I want the home page to point to the tasks controller and the index action. And then by default, every Rails app loads this index.html whenever you start your server and go to localhost. We'll want to rename that so it doesn't load that file. As I pop back into terminal and I call this command Rails S, which is short for Rails server, it's going to start my Rails Webrix server. So as I open up localhost, you'll see we have our to-do list app where I can create a new task and clean the house. And it's not yet completed. So as you can see, I now have a clean the house task and the status is set to false. I can choose to add a new task if I'd like to, or I can edit this task. Perhaps I just got done cleaning the house. Now if I go back to my list, you can see that the status is true. Now whatever you do from here is up to you. Obviously you would want to add user authentication and everything. I just wanted to list out and show how easy it is to create a simple to-do list application.